Hello guys, I've got a special request here to do a movie review of the new Spider-Man movie, The No Way Home. Now I'm going to try to do this as spoiler free as I can, but if you've seen the new Spider-Man movie, you know that it's very hard to talk and review about this movie without giving away the major spoilers. And I don't want to give away the spoilers because my wife hasn't seen the movie yet, and I know she watches these videos so I I don't want to spoil anything for her so basically by now you can kind of piece together the plot of the movie based on the trailer so I'm gonna try not to give away any of the big reveals of the trailer of the trailer of the movie so anyway one of the things that I I like about the movie is it has like a good sense of like nostalgia like it brings back of course like based on the trailer you see it brings back Dr. Octopus and it shows the Green Goblin also makes a comeback and I'm not going to spoil any more about like if if there is any more people that are revealed or not or who else is in the movie but it definitely plays a lot of nostalgia but at the same time it just at the same time, I feel it doesn't really add anything either, you know? It doesn't bring much new to the table, but I'm kind of, I kind of mixed emotions. And another, another thing that I, I kind of don't like about the movie, and this is going to be like a, a minor spoiler, a, a very minor spoiler, but um, if you see based on the trailer where Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus, they get into a fight on the bridge. And that, that fight was pretty amazing. That was a good... I, I enjoyed that part. That was like really... Um, and that was like edge of, edge of the seat, edge of your seat moments there, you know. And that, that was, that was a, the, probably one of the best parts of the movie. But what I didn't like, and this is where the spoiler is, like during that fight, Spider-Man's... And like I said, this is a minor spoiler... Spider-Man's suit kind of takes control of um, Dr. Octopus's tentacles. And after that, he's basically no longer a menace throughout the whole movie. And it's like it, it, it kind of takes... He's, it's like he's no longer a threat. And I was kind of looking forward to seeing him again as like an actual villain like a menace and it comes to the point and this is also in the trailer where uh ned Leeds and mj they're kind of like making fun of him and it's like i i don't i, I don't i want to say i don't i don't care i don't i don't care to see this this menace like that it's one of spider-man's like biggest enemies being portrayed like that and like poked fun of like that and um but but i can't say he's not the only villain in this movie and the reason i could say that because in the trailer it did reveal uh one, one of the green goblins goblin bombs so yes he's not he's not the only villain in this movie another little minor spoiler i i want to give away and this it this is like a, it has Spider-Man has to have a lawyer, and the lawyer is Matt Murdock. Now, he doesn't play that big of a role in it. He's just like a little small cameo, and it's not, it's not even revealed that he's Daredevil. But I liked it because I'm, now I'm kind of wondering if um, the Daredevil is going to be part of the MCU, and if he's, they're going to have like him involved in any movies, or maybe he might have a solo movie. You know, I don't know. Okay, I'm... And another thing I want to talk about is, okay, in, in the comic books, there's this event that's usually not, um, let's, let's just say it's not well liked, and it's universally hated. And in this movie, it does something similar, but it does it better. You know, it's like that event, and if, if you're, I don't consider this a spoiler because if you're a Spider-Man fan, you you've pretty much already seen the movie and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But it got me thinking, okay, why why can 
that it, it just it got me to thinking that if the comic books had done it that way or similar to, to that way I think it would have worked that way and this is um, basically how the movie ends so that's that's a kind of big spoiler so I won't get into it but I, I feel like I'm being ambiguous to where like if you've seen the movie or if you know the spider-man I, I think you all know what I'm talking about another thing that I have to mention is there are there's a mid credit scene and there's a post credit scene at the very end and I'm going to talk about the, the post credit scene because it's not a spoiler because it's it's a trailer. So it's a trailer for the new Doctor Strange movie. So if you if you don't want to stick around for the for the credits, if you have to pee really bad, like because that's what I had to do. I had to pee, but I had to hold it in because I wanted to see the post credit scene. But it's a spider. It's a trailer for the new Doctor Strange movie, and that's going to be really exciting. So that's pretty much all I can say about Spider-Man without really spoiling it because I really don't want to get into spoilers. So, uh, but but trust me, I'm just I'm not even glance I'm not even I'm not even scratching the surface. There's a lot more. A, there's a lot of this in this movie that I am purposely leaving out because I don't want to do any spoilers. But. If you're a Spider-Man fan, you won't regret seeing this movie. It, it's a good, I would say it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Just not a great one. It's not, you're, it's not nothing that you're going to go out saying this is like the best movie I've ever seen in my life. It's not even the best Spider-Man movie. It's not even the best comic book movie. I wouldn't even say it's the best Spider-Man movie, but you're going to have a good time seeing this. So if you like Spider-Man like I do, you'd want to go out of your way to see this. Okay, thank you. And have a good day, everybody.